This is the second of a three-part series. We are making a Jamaican wedding rum cake, food cake. The, I already made a fruit cake, but uh, you know, years ago. I'm just showing you this whole process in these three videos and it will be on its own playlist. And the, I, the ingredients I'm using here is butter, sugar, eggs, flour, vanilla, baking powder, burnt sugar, uh, uh, almond essence, rum, wine, and I have um, red label wine this time, lucky me. Uh, the fruit I did before and they're in, a, a, I put them in a jar, you know, I keep them in a plastic container. Um, I never have a recipe for, for most of my stuff and this is no different. I will, you know, I just basically go off when the, the, the texture is okay, when I put in everything and the texture is okay. Um, so... You can go watch the previous video. I'm going to decorate the cake in the next video. So this, you know, that will be the third part. So you can um, ask any questions. If you, I will link the other video to this one. The one I did, I think it was 2017. That's the um, fruit I have in that um, plastic container. I never throw away these things because I always have it. So I put the butter and the sugar together. Um, and they're mixing in the in the in the mixer and you know you just mix it till it's fluffy and soft my mother used to say when you rub the sugar between your fingers there should be no <laughs> no <laughs> we don't have time for that I did the eggs the next thing I put in is the eggs you know after butter sugar then you do the eggs and I use the hand blender to do it it's much quicker instead of putting it in the food processor and mess up a lot of things if you don't have one of these, I'm going to link below where you can get one at a good price. Um, so, you know, you put in the eggs a little at a time. I don't want to pour in too much and then it flash up over the side in the mixer. So you put it a little at a time. So when I was done, I just um, do that. And uh, last week, I want to apologize to the people who were watching last week. Uh, I finished the cake and um, put the flowers on and finish it live and some of my video got deleted on YouTube so I did it actually I I did something wrong and deleted my my nice video for at one minute so I apologize for that anyway one I put in the eggs on a storage time put in the eggs on a stir and stir See, each time I put in eggs, I stir. I don't put in all of it at one time. You don't want a mess. You don't want everything to fl fly over. But this mixer is great because it has, uh, uh, see, it has a cover. And I can pour things through the hole. It has a cover with a hole. And I can pour things through the hole. It's a good one. It's a good one. It's a good one. It's a good one. And it should be fluffy like this. It should look fluffy. So now I'm putting in the fruit. And you have to put a lot of fruit. I mean, the fruit is the main thing. It's the main ingredient. It's a fruit cake. So you gotta put fruit. Man, it smells so good when I was doing it. And um, when you, you know, once it's in the wine and the rum for a couple of days, so man, it smells good. You just want to like eat some of it, which I do sometimes. <laughs> really good, really good. Yeah, so anyway, you've got to put the fruit on mix. And, and Mama always say, make sure you see uh, more fruit than the sands of the seashore in it. <laughs> yeah, it should have a lot of fruit, that's all. Put a lot of fruit in, you know, in comparison to the rest of, of the, uh, the butter sugar ingredient. So I'm pouring in all my liquid here. That is the vanilla. Almond essence, rose water. The only liquid I don't put in here is the lime. And a little rum and, and more wine and all of that stuff. And I mix that out because I am going to pour this out into a bigger basin. You can't hold everything here. I got that big basin that I used in the last video. Actually, now I have two of them. And that is the, um, that is the cinnamon powder. 
so I'm, I'm mix all of them together all of those together and I pour it out in the big bowl stir so now I'm gonna put in my flour and I put the flour with the baking I put the baking powder with the flour and then I put it in a little bowl put the baking powder in and then um and then uh, sprinkle it little by little over the um the mixture you don't want to put too much on time because it will get lumpy so you sprinkle just like i'm doing here with the sieve sprinkle over and then you stir sprinkle and stir till your flour is, fi is finished and after that i put in the browning burnt sugar whatever you want to call it And always remember that um, the burnt sugar is always gets darker when it's baked than what you see when it's finished. And this one was very dark. And I put some more wine, and then some more. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> and some more rum too. So mix everything. And now I'm going to put in my lime juice and the lime rind. So I had two limes and I ran, grate it, grate the rind off the lime and then sprinkle that in there, stir. Every time you put things, you got to stir. Then I squeeze the lime and, um, and I'm going to put that in. And that is the last thing I put in the cake because you don't want to put the lime too early because with the baking powder, it will start working before your cake is baked. Always remember that. Put the lime in last. Or some people use lemon juice, but I don't like the taste of lemon in my cake. Lime is not pronounced. It doesn't show itself up. And that is the best thing I've always used. And this is called a flower nail. It's what we make roses and flowers on. I have lots of those. But I had forgotten to put it in before I put the um, start putting the cake in the pan. You know, I line the pan. Don't forget to line your pan. And I start putting the cake mixture in it. And the reason for putting that is so that there's something in the middle, uh, metal, that pulls the heat towards it also. Because a lot of time, you bake your cake, uh, the middle is raw. So if you put some kind of metal in the middle, it will help it. And the cake is baked, and I am going to pour wine and stuff on it. See? I'm going to pour wine and cover it up for a few days. After that, I'm going to turn it out here and I'm going to finish that part in the next video, the decorating part. But right now I'm showing you what happened with the flour mm. nail. So I take off the grease paper. I forgot to take off my hat. I was just... I was outside attending to my plants and forgot to take off my hat. So the hat is showing itself in the video. Now I have to take out the floor nail because you don't want to decorate. I actually did a cake for somebody one time and forgot to take out the floor nail. And I have to call them and tell them to go for it. So I took out the floor nail. I was going to take off some of those little pieces to put back in the hole, but didn't bother. I just had another cake that I had baked. As you could see when I was baking and I just cut a piece of it to fill the hole fill up that little spot so when I'm decorating there is no dent
in the next video you'll see how i decorate the cake only thing is when i was putting the flowers on last friday for the live video somehow i um somehow i uh i deleted it so watch the next video coming up thanks for watching please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the bell so you get notified when i upload another video thanks again